Today we're going to compare the coding abilities of Kimi K2 against Quen 3 Coder. I'll save the boring theory to the other channels, we just need to know that Kimi K2 has a context window of 128,000 tokens and $2.5 for a million output tokens. Quen 3 Coder has double that context and cost. However, Quen 3 Coder has a very bad tiered pricing model, which means it's relative to the input token count and goes from $5 to $60 for a million output tokens. To get the best performance, you'll need to use Open Router. The first thing to do in Open Router is to check which providers are slow and expensive for the models you want to use, then ignore them. I also handpick a few providers when other providers are slow, but do this only when there are enough providers. I loaded up just enough credits so Quen doesn't make me bankrupt. In VS Code, you click on the model picker and select Open Router. Then select a listed model or press the plus button and enter a model ID if it's not listed. The software we're going to modify is a platform that helps developers upskill and prepare for interviews through gamification. While you race, there are bubbles which reveal questions according to your level and increase your speed if you get the answers right. The database is a MySQL database hosted in Microsoft Azure. Notice that there's no leaderboard so I want Kimi and Quen to add this feature. I want the cars to have a number showing their position and a leaderboard which changes according to a car's position. Let's give this to Kimi first. Kimi is using tools to read the folder structure, search for files and read file contents. Okay, this is not good. It says it's fixing lint errors, but doesn't send the tool call to VS Code. Google Gemini does this a lot in Cursor and Windsurf, actually. It's early. Let's tell it to continue. If you receive server errors like these, it's most probably the underlying provider in Open Router having issues. K2 looks to be able to use diffs to update parts of the code, which is good. We encounter the server error again, so let's sort it out in open router. Under activity, you'll see that the offending provider will have slow speeds. Go to your provider settings and remove it from the allow list or add it to the deny list. Now let's look at Kimi and Quinn side by side. I used both models for a while, and here's what I learned. In terms of tool calling, Kimi K2 isn't great with VS Code's prompts, but is great with other tools like Klein. Quen 3 Coder is great in both VS Code and in tools like RuCode. So with tool calling, I give it to Quen 3 Coder. Now let's take a look at who produces better quality code and who follows instructions better. Kimi is stuck again in VS Code. Let me show you one of the most important VS Code settings, which allows the agent to go on continuously like Claude Code without asking to continue. The default is 25, so increase it to a number according to the work you want to be done. I always check the credit balance so I optimize my workflows. Again, Kimi K2 calls the file system MCP server instead of using the write file tool directly in VS Code. I'm going to switch Kimi K2 to be used in Klein. It's trivial to add it through Open Router. Klein also has that VS Code setting for the number of consecutive agent requests. Quen 3 
is making some of the fewest tool call mistakes I've seen of any model in a while, on par with Claude Four Sonnet. I'm unfortunately out of credits for now. Please remember to subscribe to the channel while I refill open router credits. Kimmy is done, let's test it. That's a very good looking leaderboard. It's also updating correctly as the race progresses. It works after overtaking an opponent, and it correctly added the progress of each racer. This is 100% great instruction following. There seems to be some API issues, but I know why that happens, and it's a non-issue. If we look at them side by side, we see that Kimi on the left did a much better job. I'll create other comparisons with the Quen CLI and Claude Code, using Claude 4 Sonnet and these two models. I'd choose Kimi K2 for now, especially considering other things as well, like pricing and speed. I'll create other comparisons with the Quen CLI and Claude Code, using Claude 4 Sonnet and these two models. I'd choose Kimi K2 for now, especially considering other things as well, like pricing and speed. The current progress of this platform is on race.marvajo.com. We'll be modifying it in upcoming Claude Code and Quen CLI videos. For those who are wondering, Quen did create a to-do list in RuCode and confirmed that it implemented all features. For those wondering how I compared the two in a single code base, I created two branches from the same base and separated the folders. Please remember to subscribe to the channel for more.